let's get into main topic number three. Kaylee, what is our third main topic today? John, our third main topic is from Vic Haslam. Okay, I'm seriously getting dizzy from trying to figure out if this is the exact same Daredevil from the Netflix show or just exactly like the one from the Daredevil Netflix show. Just saw on Variety that the girl who plays Karen is saying she's not a part of the new Disney Plus show. She was the main actress in that show and Matt's love interest. So... Does this put a nail in it? Is this absolute confirmation that this isn't the exact same Matt from the Netflix show and just one that is just like him? What do you guys think? John, what do you think? Is this um, a different Matt? What are your thoughts? I mean, this has been a discussion that's been going on for a long time mm -hmm. about once we found out that Charlie Cox was coming over, the whole discussion about, okay, is this, I like the way you put it, by the way, is this the exact same Matt or a Matt who's exactly the same? Because those, those are two different things, right? It's either the exact same Matt or a Matt who's exactly like that Matt. And that's been going back and forth. A lot of comments have been made by Charlie Cox and it made it sound like this is a different thing. This is a, And they've gone on record to really push. This is not Daredevil season four. This is a brand new thing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and then you had some stuff going back and forth. I believe it's going to end up being, although I, I don't know this for sure. Kevin Feige has not told me this. I believe this is going to end up being a Matt Murdock who is exactly like the Matt Murdock from the Netflix series, but is not the exact same Matt Murdock. That's what I think may or may not turn out to be that way. So that's been going back and forth with a lot of people. Then some would say, well, John, the MCU site said it's the exact same one. No, wording, semantics, it, it, it didn't really. But at any rate, maybe it does end up being the exact same one, maybe it doesn't. But this one seems like a bit of a strike against it because you're right, the lead female character of the Daredevil series, Karen, who was Daredevil's love interest. Then again, she was also a love interest in a way to Punisher and also to Foggy. And yeah, but but at the end, I believe they ended it with, she was the, the main love interest for Daredevil at that point. She's saying she's not a part of it and that no one's even talked to her about it. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio are making the jump from Netflix's canceled Daredevil series to the Disney's upcoming limited series, Daredevil Born Again. But their former co-star, Deborah Ann Wool, might not be following. She said this, I can say this, they have not called me yet. So as of now, I'm not part of it. Wolt revealed on a recent episode of Inside You podcast, hosted by Smallville alum Michael Rosenbaum. By the way, that's a really good podcast. Mm -hmm. I would be thrilled to get to be a part of it. They know where I am. Like I said, I love the character Karen Page. I love telling that story. I feel like I have more to say, but it's up to them and what kind of story they want to tell. So that comes to us again from the folks at Variety. Here's the thing. We have all learned that just assume actors are lying. <laughs> but there's something very convincing about this. Particularly, I watched the clip particularly the way she said it. Like you can tell, hey, listen, hi, I, I want to do this. Let, let me be that, but no one's called me. And I, now the, the person writing in asked the question, is this the final nail in it? Does this just definitively prove that this is a Matt Murdock who is just like the one from Netflix, but not the exact same one? And I would say, no, not necessarily. I mean, I don't think it's the same Matt, but this does not prove that it's not. Because there's a couple of things. Number one, maybe she will be in it. Maybe they just haven't called her yet. Now that's hard to believe considering they're going into, I mean, they're putting all the, getting all their ducks in a row now. You'd think they would have at least talked to her at this point. But still, it is still possible that she could be in it. So that's one thing. Another thing is, guess what? They could just recast it. Maybe they've got another actress that they feel would be better for the role on Disney+. Plus. Hard to believe that if you're saying it's the exact same universe, why not bring her over too? But again, that's a possibility. Possibility number three is that it's the exact same Matt, but Karen died. Or Karen moved to St. Louis to follow her dream of being a full-time St. Louis Blues hockey team roadie. And I, I don't know. Again, all I'm saying is that if this is indeed true, and she's not in this show, that does not prove that it's not the exact same. It, it it gives more weight to it for sure, but it doesn't prove it. And I say that as somebody who doesn't think it's the same, Matt, but this does not prove that definitively. But again, it is a pretty big piece of evidence that kind of points towards that. Chris, 
We know your philosophy now on whether or not you believe any actors ever. I don't trust or love anyone. You don't trust or love anybody. (laughs) But again, to me, this sounds pretty convincing. So let me ask you this. Do you believe she will ultimately end up in the show, given what she just said? And if she's not in the show, does that finally tell us definitively whether this is the same Matt Murdock or not? What do you think? Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. You guys know we have been sponsored by Masterclass and we love them here at the John Campia Show for giving us in-depth information on a wide variety of topics from the world's best experts. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn the art of filmmaking from James Cameron, improve your cooking skills from Gordon Ramsay, or learn how to make compelling YouTube videos from Marquise Brownlee. With over 150 classes from a range of world class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. I was recently watching through the independent filmmaking course by Spike Lee, and I found it fascinating that not only did he cover the broader topics like working with actors, but he also gets into finer details like working with a cinematographer and how to properly audition a DP for your project. It was fascinating. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class, and as a John Cabia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to Matt masterclass.com slash campia now that's masterclass.com slash campia for 15 percent off masterclass i mean i'm honestly not sure because last year when everyone was responding to vincent d'onofrio coming back in hawkeye right and everyone was losing their mind he you know went out on twitter and said you know thank you so much but let's not forget Deborah Ann wall who brought so much depth to this character playing karen page who's such a marvel wonderful marvel character and really kind of started this campaign to get her back in the mix as Karen. So you've got the support of her cast who really wants her back in there. But at this point in time, the fact that she hasn't been contacted does make me a little nervous. We've got gears moving on this one. This is probably already in the works, Scripts right? Are written. Like, yeah. You don't know if she's in there or not. So it's really, I think it is going to come down to that first episode. We are going to know just based on Karen, her situation. If it is a, oh my gosh, you know, the life caught up with her because Karen has a very tumultuous story in the Netflix one. You know, she really d- grapples with alcoholism. She's murdered people. She has almost been murdered. She's had a really hard life. So maybe she does go off to greener pastures. Maybe something really horrible happened to her. I think that's going to be the kind of linchpin that tells us what this version of Matt is. Rob, what do you think of this? Like, let, let's ask, let's do the same two questions. Number one, do you think she's going to end up being in this? Do you believe what she's saying? And then number two, if she's not... Does that give us a definitive answer on whether or not this is the same Matt from Netflix or just same as the Netflix version? I don't know. What do you see? Well, I think, first of all, we're in the middle of the multiverse saga. So I'm like, uh, that just tells me everything I need to know. Mm. The fact that they've cast Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, to me, it's like what we really want to know is, did Daredevil seasons one, two, and three happen in continuity? Does Electra exist? Does the hand exist? Have Daredevil and Kingpin fought? All that stuff. Because in our own minds, we want to know, is this part of his history in canon? But I'm I'm like, does it matter? I mean, at in the a end multiverse day, world, does it, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. So it, it really like what well, I really liked Karen Page. I mean, if you you know, she's she's like a strawberry blonde redhead. She's great. And I really liked the actress. I thought she played that role really well. I thought she gelled with that cast. It was great. But does it really matter? I mean, we've got Charlie Cox back, Cox back as Daredevil. And I would ask you, from what we saw in She-Hulk, nothing contradicted the Netflix shows. No. That could absolutely be the... Except felt, that he's out there cheating on Karen. Well, yeah. The, I mean, there you go. I mean, and, and, <laughs> Were they you know, together by the end? I was asking, I thought they were together by the end, but I, I can't remember. I, I can't just, remember. I just remember the last scene of season three was Foggy, Matt, and Karen sitting in a diner. Mm-hmm. And that was like like the end of a Seinfeld episode. But were they together? I, can't, I honestly can't remember if they were together or not. But what's interesting that. about that is the costume that Daredevil was Call getting strawberry blonde one is, more time. is actually from earlier in Daredevil's continuity. Mm-hmm. So who's to say that the Daredevil that we met in She-Hulk isn't a Daredevil before the Netflix show happens. It yeah. No, no one says it happens after it. You don't know. I mean, and and so the continuity is that we got Charlie Cox back as Daredevil. And in my mind, yeah, it's the same, it's the same Daredevil. Is it a multiverse version? Doesn't matter. It's still the same Daredevil. 
I disagree with that completely because the Gamora, like, if it's a multiverse version, then it's not the same. It's the right, same but, as. But 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 the thing I is, I think that's a very there's a big distinction between. But the those. thing is, it's the same actor playing the same character. Sure. So the question is, I mean, we're 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 asking. What you're really asking is, did is Spock without the goatee the same Spock as the one with the goatee? No, but but it's the same actor. But but they're not supposed to be the same guy. They're from different universes. Well, that's, as it's established. That's what we're talking about. And he hired that goatee. But in this, <laughs> yes. but in this situation, the Charlie Cox Daredevil, there's nothing to say so far that he's not the same. No, there's been the, nothing it, definitive it, to say yeah, either in way. Continuity. Yeah. So in my mind, what we've seen of She-Hulk, it's the same Daredevil. In my mind, until they tell me something definitive that makes right, it which not they have the same, not done yet which they haven't done so in my mind i'm like well does it matter until i know that it's not until they show me something on screen to my mind it's the same daredevil and now i would say that even the kingpin that the daredevil that we saw predates the daredevil from the netflix series i mean that's that's but but then really the daredevil in the netflix series happened soon after new york was attacked because they mentioned the new york attack when the daredevil series first started so the Chitari invasion of New York, that is a time frame. Yeah. So, but but again, it's it's a detail you can work around if if they really wanted to. I mean, again, the when we look heard the origin stories of of Kingpin in the Netflix series, that does not line up with the origin stories of Kingpin as told by Hawkeye. So, but again, maybe that's just one little detail. I know, that, I, but that, massage, that, right? the whole thing, the whole funny thing about it is, is so are you gonna t is one version better than the other? We don't know. I, that's the thing. I, I I mean, it's such a weird question to have to ask ourselves. I I, I am very much looking forward to finding out definitive because you're right. They haven't really done anything definitively on screen to say one or the other. So I'm looking forward to that happening. But if Karen isn't there, I think it goes a long way to to us thinking that. And the this thing is, is I, I think Karen Page is such an important character in the Daredevil mythos, yeah. particularly in Born, Born Again. Again and Born Again, say, especially. Yeah. Like what if and and you know what. If they find her in Born Again and you play that storyline out, she's like, not in a great place. Not in a great place no. at no. all. And they've already kind of done that with her I in, know. in the Netflix series. She's I don't we can make it so much worse, yes, like the cares. comics. Maybe she just, <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> question is for you. What do you think about this? The actress who plays Karen says, nobody's reached out to me. I'd love to do it. I want to do it. Here I am. They know where I am. She's but lying. No one's talking. I don't know. It sounded pretty legit to me. If she doesn't end up being in it, does that kind of settle it for you that this is a very exactly the same, but not the same, Matt? Or maybe it doesn't at this point. Like, I don't think it necessarily does. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.